Um, okay, hello everyone, and welcome to our webinar today on Avance versus the competition. My name is Mark Stevenson. That is Don Copeland. We, we have people are seeing us too. Good. Yeah, which good, is good. which is a good thing. Yep. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to briefly go through some of the resources that are available to uh, to you guys um, that are not have to do with Dan, Don standing in front of a camera. Um, and the first one I'm going to talk about is something that Sean uh, just finished, as a matter of fact. Um, a few days a week, uh, we have our best techs uh, take one hour out of their busy schedule, you know, answering support calls and prepping machines, just to specifically work with our customers on on issues and on techniques that they've gathered through their years of experience and want to share with you. For example, Sean did one on um, hooping techniques. Folks on our whoop, whoop, whoop. no, oh, that's, that's whooping techniques. Right. <laughs> hooping techniques. <laughs> on hooping techniques, because that's a that's a recurring uh, point of training for most commercial embroiderers. Get a new kind of material, not sure how to hoop it. That's why guys like Sean are here is to help with. I stuff think our like most that. popular one is the tensioning one, right? Tensioning, yes. Yeah, setting tension, tension is a big yeah. one. Yeah, normally you can relieve the tension if Don leaves the room. That's that's what happens. <laughs> <laughs> See, I'm feeling better already. Okay, I am going to switch over to the computer screen. Tension's back section is back in. And we're going to go through some of these things. I just want to encourage everyone, if you're not already, to sign up for the Custom Apparel Startup Facebook group. It's a very important resource. Not only do we have our future webinars on there, but we also have a lot of folks talking about graphic design techniques. We have people uh, trying to source hats, find the right font, find a supplier for pet clothing. Everybody needs a bullpen uh, jacket. Every, everybody <laughs> needs one. Um, you know, great examples of what good digitizing looks like. There's stuff on here about pricing. There's stuff on here about um, sourcing materials, about, you know, people looking for help with their business. And, and what do I take with me on the road? And how do you store all your inventory of hoops and thread and things like that? Just really useful. And people brag Join. here, too. Yeah, people do like, do. this is a pretty good yeah, like, look at this. Like, we, yes. we're getting a lot of, like, this is the first t-shirt I've printed. Hoop, hoop. Yeah. Right? Yeah. There we go, hooping technique. That's it. Uh, <laughs> nope, you're wrong again. <laughs> Then there's the CIS webinars page, which I hope you guys all found. And what we do there is we just have lists of the upcoming and some of the past webinars. You can actually go here to see our recorded webinars as well um, for both Cold SE and Coleman and Company. And that guy's good looking. We have the thank you. We have the uh, the podcast up, and that is your business resource. If you are here and you're not listening to the podcast, please put it on your list of things to do, because you'll find great information here, like where to source blanks. Um, choosing the right equipment, how to make more money next month. That's another one of the most common questions that we get. I have my equipment, I have my business, how do I make money? This is where you will listen to the answers to those questions. Our support site is also the best in the business, and Don's going to talk about that later on as well, because um, there's a lot of good embroidery machines um, out there. There is no company that's better at taking care of you and training you than Colbessi. And this is where it starts. This is where our, um, our support site is. We're excited to have you go there, which I don't think any other company do, can say. We also have a, um, a link to all of the recordings of those one-hour events that we do uh, for training. And then there's Coleman & Company, who's our supply arm. And then, of course, I hope you've all been to the Avance website, which just happens to have the article up there comparing commercial embroidery machines, mm -hmm. just in case Don Copeland needs some cliff notes. Uh, Paul wants to know if we are going to be in NBM in Charlotte, North Carolina, North Carolina next month. Paul, no, we're not, and uh, we're not doing trade shows anymore. All of those things that we talked about, hello again, all those things that we talked about, the, uh, the tech talks that we're doing, these live webinars, um, the Facebook group, all these are ways that we're reaching out to potential customers, not at trade shows. Because it's only the lucky ones that live nearby or can afford to go, and you only get to see the vendors that are there. You don't get to see us. So um, that's a big one. All right, so Don Copeland, take it away. Oh, that was like, boom, transition, and he's yes. gone. Mark must, have to, Mark must have to go to the bathroom or something. He's gone. He's out. All right, hey, thank you all for taking some time out of your day to, uh, to be here with us and to uh, just have a little discussion about the different machines in the marketplace, uh, kind of our competition, for a lack of a better phrase. But we want to share with you a little bit about where we feel like we are in the marketplace. It's not just about machines, all right? Um, there are a lot of good embroidery machines, as Mark uh, indicated in his, his discussion earlier. 
what really I think makes the difference when you start to differentiate the top five, six machines on the marketplace is uh, literally what we can offer on the back side. What, what else you get? Uh, I just had a question. Uh, somebody was saying they were, weren't able to hear. I mean, they were hearing, but they weren't able to see. Um, Mark, I don't think mentioned it. it you may want to uh, tab to check and see it didn't get when he jumped back from the computer screen, and we'll do this a little bit later on. Sean will probably be doing a demo of the software, mm -hmm. and if we jump back and forth between the screen and the the uh, camera, you may lose it. Uh, there, there's a little snowflake, I think, on some applications, a little blue snowflake, and I think on one of them it's a purple snowflake. But it's there, just probably in the background. Can everybody else see us? Yeah, can everybody else see? Well, either that or you can't hear me either, so I'm assuming one that... Two. All right. Yes, okay, great. Grace, you can see in here. Awesome. Okay. All right, back to our story. So, first thing I think we need to do is kind of lay out what we're comparing against uh, and, and share with you a bit about what the Avance 1501C, which is this piece that's behind me here, what it's about, what you get with it, uh, what we provide with it that are the, the intangibles like training and support and stuff like that, and then we can kind of start touching base on the other machines on the marketplace and give you a comparison uh, of, of those machines to the Avance 1501C. Uh, we'll start out with Understand that this is really about comparing this machine, the Avance 1501C, to other commercial machines. Uh, I do another webinar that is actually about comparing the Avance 1501C to consumer machines, uh, namely the bees, the brothers of the baby locks, right? right. That are out there on the marketplace. So I, we, we'll touch all lightly on those, but we, we dedicate the same amount of time to, to a webinar on that specifically, because we have people kind of coming at us from two directions in a lot of cases. We have people who are looking to start a, a, a true legit business that's going to be a business business full time and are really looking commercial. And then we have people who are kind of dabbling in it, but they're looking at a, a consumer machine that may fit their need for a short while. And, and cost the same amount of money. And cost the same amount of money. So here's the justification for why, why a, a commercial versus a consumer machine. So, like I said, if you have some questions on that, I'll answer them. But we also do have another webinar that really covers that in depth. And if you want at the end of the webinar, just ask. You can email Mark. Yeah. Um, you can, we have actually people during this will also be answering questions via chat as well. Um, and they can get you a um, links to that webinar. Yeah. It's actually, Mark actually showed you this. Yeah, actually, you can find it at CAS yeah, webinars. You can CAS webinars recorded as well. We can shoot you that one on. Uh, it basically says... Uh, consumer versus commercial embroidery machine. Yeah. All right. And that's the title of it. Anyway, back to our story. How do I know it's a commercial machine? Well, most commercial machines have a really straightforward name to them. Avance is our brand name, but the model is where you start to get some answers about that. This is a 1501C. Straightforward. 15 needles. So it's one thing at a time, one head. Right. See, it's a compact machine, means it'll go through a, basically a standard door in most homes. All right? So that's kind of your breakout of embroidery machine names. Our two multi-heads, we have a 1504 and a 1506C. Right. 1504, 15 needle, four heads, right? No other designation because it's a standard machine. And 1506C, 15 needle, six head, compact. And slightly and, smaller sewing area. And there are other brands that have the, the 1501T, which means it has a table on it, hey, which means right. you can't get it through a door. Right, anymore. exactly. Yeah, yeah I mean, they, when you see that designation, but it's, it's cool. It's consistent across the industry. But when you're looking at machines, they're pretty much you're going to have those kinds. Yeah. Of, and, you know, and some of them may have something like it has a laser to it, so it's HL or something like right. that. But it, understand it's the number of needles, number of heads, and then any special designation. Yeah. That means you're probably looking at a commercial machine. All right? I agree. If it has some funny name that's named after some Disney character or, you know, a tree, it's probably a home machine. All right, so what do you get when you buy a 1501C Avance from Matsier Koldesi? Well, the goods that arrive to you uh, start out actually right after you've ordered. One of the first things that happens is you're going to get this cool box in the mail, all right? And this box, actually this box is a test. If you can call us and say, what do I do with this, we just ask you. We, we, we don't send, send the machine. We send, your, we send your money back and you can't have the machine. Because as you see, step one, open, open the box. box. All right. So inside of the box, you're going to have some pretty cool stuff. All right. You've got, oh, there is a, there is a, we didn't, we're trying okay. to get there. You're going to have instructions. And look what they say, step two, step three. 
this is going to have your your how to set up your training. It's going to have your training materials on it. It has the manual for the machine on it right here. You go online, shows you where to set up all of the stuff that Mark kind of was um, talking about there yeah, at the beginning. The YouTube channel, the YouTube, tech talk, podcast, everything. all of that. Hooking up with Coleman and Company right there. How to handle getting set up for tech support. Even have a little plug in here for the the uh, tech talks. Here's a T-shirt to practice on. And one of the most important things: it's a webcam. Wait a minute, are we missing something? Yes. Where's the popcorn? Oh, the popcorn. Somebody oh, stole hey. the popcorn out of the. I box. thought I smelled something when I walked through the. <laughs> There's a webcam too, guys. That's really important. It's a part of our commitment to support and service to you, right? So that you can, when you have one of those challenges and uh, you're you're trying to address something. By the way, we send the popcorns so that you'll actually watch the videos. They're on the right. thumb drive, um, and you have something to eat while you're doing it. But we send you the webcam so that you're very easily able to communicate to Sean, let's say, what's going on. I mean, we had, we have started over the last couple, three years using a lot of camera, camera phone pictures and a lot of videos from that, but especially the videos are really big files, and so people were having to do FTP transfer, and so for Sean to find out what your machine is really doing, it may take three hours before you can get the video, get it uploaded to the FTP site, he can download it, he can watch it. And then no, would you do, would you need the video the Okay, hit four. Right. Right? So now, when you have the webcam, Sean can say, hey, get the webcam, show me when it's doing this. Like, hey, when it goes to needle four, it's making this, all right? And so Sean can say, okay, what's happened is this, and he can very quickly fix it, because now he has actually seen it, instead of trying to rely on your description of what it is, because nothing personal, most of the time, know, yeah. you're not going to know, at the, especially in the early stages, what it is. So that helps a lot. We include that. That'll show up a week or so after you've gotten, you've placed your order with the, for the machine. Secondarily, the machine's going to show up. What do you get with the machine? All right? We start off basically with the machine itself. It comes pretty much the way you see. The stand is not built. It's in a separate case. In fact, one of the things on that thumb drive I believe it's a video on how, how to assemble, assemble the, the stand. stand itself. All right. The stand is not in a separate case. It's in the same. Crate. It's in the same crate. It's in a separate box. Yeah, it's in a cardboard box inside of the crate. You will build the stand. The machine itself is completely as you see it, except this thread rack is down. Okay. Mm -hmm. There is thread through it. There is not thread on it. Okay. Right. So the the machine. Understand when you get your machine, it's not like we just brought it in. We hit a boom and shipped it out to it. What was that sound? I don't, I don't know. know. That was a strange sound. Uh, whoop, whoop. Um, <laughs> but basically, the guys, Sean and the guys, they actually will take the machines out. And they're going to sew almost 300,000 stitches on the machine before it leaves here. Yeah. All right? That's assuming everything is is, is right. He's, he didn't want to show my receding hairline. Yeah. Okay. All right. There we go. Uh, we want to make sure that the machine sews properly. If, if something's not sewing right, it's usually about adjustments and alignments and stuff. So it's going to have at least 300,000 stitches on it. That's assuming everything goes through it straight. So your machine is going to burn in typically for a day to day and a half here before it leaves because we have to sew through all those stitches. Yep. Gives you a high confidence level that the machine is, the electronic failures like the control panel and the basic electronic failures on these machines. They never make it through. Almost, yeah, yeah, they never, never make it through. If it's going to die and it's electronic like this, it's going to die within the first couple hours of operation. Most frequently, it's going to die right away. Right. So any of that stuff is caught here beforehand. You'll get a working machine. Your machine will come in. It's working. And by the way, I just want to point out that everybody gets the stand. Everybody. It's not, it's not optional. Correct. You cannot request not to get the stand. You can. We, but we're just going to put it in the box anyway. We're going to stick it in there, you know. It is. But no, the machine comes with the stand. It is. Like I said, that's the, the biggest part. The video. There's the ring we were looking for. That is. The, the video itself. It's probably 10 minutes. Yes. All right. And and Brian is very deliberate. Brian, on the side, kind of works in a uh, one of these big box type of uh, hardware stores. And so Brian is very deliberate <laughs> yeah. about how he does it, right? And, you know, it, it's it's very simple. You pop this machine up on here. It's still going to have the hat gauge, the hat, I mean, the hat hoop and the frame. There'll be actually a hat that's on it. The last thing they sew is generally the hat, right? And it'd be a hat that was sewn on the machine. If you knew what you were doing, and this arrived, let's say you already had one, within an hour, you could be, yeah, you're ready to go. You could go. I mean, within 35, 40 minutes, you could be sewing that same hat. If you knew yeah. how to hoop a hat, throw a hat on, sew the last design it was sewn.
Cool. So you've got the machine. What comes with the machine? If you've done embroidery before, you, you, you probably understand that embroidery is all about time, right? Um, old adage, if it ain't making noise, it ain't making money. So what does that mean? Old adage. That's my adage. It's my adage. You like that adage. Old Mark has even started using my adage, adage, right? Is that you need to be ready when the machine stops, okay? So that you can get the machine started again very quickly. So that's why, and this is, a, again, now we'll kind of jump to that consumer thing. This is why another designator of a commercial machine is it gives you two of everything. Yes. Pretty much two of everything so that you can cycle very quickly. If it's not, it's probably a home or a consumer machine, and they want you to buy the extras. Right. I think the brother machine comes with like three hoops standard. Yes. Right? So what do we give you? We give you two of each of these. These are what we consider shirt front hoops. Nine, 12, 15, and 20 centimeter. Okay, those are for doing the, generally the fronts of items. You can do small jacket backs and stuff with the biggest one. All right, two of each of those. You get two jacket backs. These are 12 by 12s to do standard jacket backs. Um, if you're somebody who has uh, been in the industry for a while, you may also identify this as a 300 by 300. Uh, Right. Yeah, it's just the same thing. It's in millimeters as opposed to inches. You get and, two of those. And I'll say that this is one point where we're different than the uh, than even some of the other commercial brands is normally their hoops will stop there at the 12 by 12. Yes. Then you got the Mac Daddy. All you right? don't get that. This is uh, our largest frame. You could call it a large jacket bag. But uh, I'm, I mean, I'm, there's less of me than there used to be, but still. Um, that, yeah, that's never a lot. a jacket that big. That's a lot. Right? Yeah, he's not um, about his hair either. So this is really more like a sash frame. Um, it's to do large flat items. Uh, there's a table you can see right back down here. See right here? That table back there. That table is designed to lay up here flat with the sewing field of the machine. And what that will do is it'll actually bear the weight. Boom. When you're sewing, uh, people will a lot of times use this to do larger items yeah. like a, uh, you know, maybe a horse blanket or something. Or, you know, Coleman and Company sells a great set of, uh, of Patch making yeah. kits, a series of patch making kits. If you're doing patches for people, you can load this up. And if they're like patches for caps, let's say, right? You got somebody who's price sensitive on uh, caps. They don't want to pay for digitizing. So what you do is, you know, you do patches, right? Yep. And, and then you press. can fill on demand with a heat press with the patches. You might be able to get 12 or 14, 15 patches on here at a time. Like, so this is that table helps to keep this. See, it's going to prevent a little bit of the bounce. And if you have a heavy item. It starts to be tail heavy. It's not going to put a lot of pressure on that needle because it's going to bear the weight of that as well. Right. Also, one important thing about that hoop is most new embroiderers will charge by the stitch. So if you can do a bigger design, if you can sell somebody on right. bigger than a 12 by 12, you'll do two things. You'll knock out any competition that can't do bigger than a 12 by 12, which is most. Mm -hmm. And you'll also be able to charge more for a bigger design. This is a beast. This is yeah. this is like 15 by 21, and you can sew within about a half inch all That's, the way around. If you do weddings, I mean, you could do the backs of uh, chair covers. Yeah. You know, I mean, you could do tablecloths with that. You can do all kinds of stuff. There you go. I think the best, biggest application most people are using this for patches. Patches, you're most right. Most frequently. All right, so you got all those. And then what about your caps? We mentioned caps a little bit earlier. You're, we're going to include the cap driver, which is a very easy insertion. As you can see right here, there's two screws right here. All right, those screws basically, when I remove the arms, there's slots right here, fit right into the, to the grooves, tighten the screws, boom, your cap driver's installed. There's actually a mode on the machine itself where you change it from flats to caps. And what that does is it reduces down your sewing field, all right, to the size so make of my cap frame. Right. Basically, never say can't. Okay. Folks will find a way, right? Basically, my cap frame goes from here to here, like 14.3, with about a 3.23 height. Our Big video flows field. again. Michael, we're gonna wait. We're gonna wait just a moment. I'm gonna go check my reporting. And yeah, we'll be right back. We broke the internet. Audio is going too. Can anybody else see us or hear us? Or is it just Michael? Hello? Just reply yes or no. Yes. Oh, Rochelle, you can hear us. Good. You can hear yes. us and see us. Okay. okay. 
Maybe uh, maybe Michael just had a problem. I can hear Nancy. Great, okay. great, great, great. Thank you, thank yeah, you, yeah. thank you. Uh, yeah, Michael, maybe just uh, click on the snowflake and uh, restart it. If not, Michael, I can get with you. I know who you are, and uh, we can get with Michael and do a, uh, a one more of a one-on-one -on -one if we need to do that for you. All right, uh, thanks, Michael. Good, good. good. Okay, great. So. That was your webinar. Thanks for coming by, guys. Yeah, no. appreciate uh, it. See you all next week. Anyway, you can do this. The cap frame literally goes 13, about 13 and a quarter, I mean 14 and a quarter around, 3.23 inches high. You get two of these as well. That way you get one on the machine, you get one off the machine. As we like to say, one to go, one to sew, right? All right, so that's all basically of the hardware. It's clear that one other thing we don't have in here, it's called the hooping gauge. The hooping gauge is what you use to, to hoop the frames up. For the for the caps as well because it's round. It's not something you lay on a table. All right, that's included as well. A lot of times you see people mounted on the side of the stand or on a on a work table nearby. That's included with it as well. So all this stuff is great. All this is hardware, but it, it doesn't mean anything if you can't sell. So hey, was hey. that a, was that a pun? So, play? so start out here. This beautiful box down there. That would be your thread kit. It would be the 15 most popular colors that Coleman and Company include sell. Plus a, a spool of is it gold metallic? I think gold and silver. Is it gold and silver? Yeah, plus yeah. Yep. And those are full size five thousand meter yeah. cones. Yes. There you go. And these are these are colors that are named by men. Orange, <laughs> red, green. There is no sea foam, no fuchsia, no uh, you know midnight on the horizon, something like that. Okay. Plus, you're also going to get a full roll of. Is that the cutaway? Yeah, a cutaway, full roll of tearaway backing. You're going to get a gross of the pre-wound Coleman and Company bobbins, filament bobbins. You're going to get different scissors, different types. You can get curved scissors for trimming away the backing. You're going to get the uh, this this magic little kit here has got snippers, clippers, tweezers, sawby, which you would use. Uh, sawby is a is a topical that you would use if you were sewing on something like polar fleece or um, uh, Carry cloth, yeah. things like that, and your software. All right, we have two different levels of software. Most people get the the, the Stitcher Liberty, yep. which is our full blown digitizing. We're software. going to show that off a little bit. We're going to show that here in a little bit. That's all included. I mean, so literally, I mean, here. Don't forget the clip art. That's a big deal. Four thousand pieces of clip art. You're going to get a uh, a subscription for two months. This is something that, you know people look at as like this is, you know, what the heck? What's the deal? This is awesome, guys. The, that, the, that's a real. Let me let me say. It looks like one of the flyers that you get in the mail right. and you immediately yes. recycle. Yep. It's not. It, no. it's, it's it's a great deal. Dakota Dakota has been the industry standard for uh, what we call stock designs, which is embroidery speak for clip art, for years. Right. I mean, I don't even want to know how many yeah. designs they have. They always have this big book you can get. It's not all their designs, and there's thirty thousand in it. Right. Um, for two months, you're allowed to go up and download a hundred each month. And these are designs you can download that are yours, that you're able to use whenever they're royalty free. But typically, if you were to buy those designs, they can be fifteen to twenty dollars a piece easily, potentially yeah. even more than that. Some of their designs get up to forty, fifty bucks. Yeah. Download and so even at five bucks each, it's it's a thousand dollars worth of designs. Let's put it this way: if you say I don't, I wait, you're Still. dealing with some niche. All right. If you're doing baby stuff, download baby stuff. Yeah. If you're doing sports stuff, download you know the the Paul Prince. Right. You know, download the Vikings. Download anything, pirates, all that stuff. If you're if you're doing stuff for like the outdoors community, download the ducks, download the bass, download the turkeys, download the deer. Right. Whatever it is you're doing, it, if, if you do a lot with it, there's a bunch of stuff in there that they have for like first responders and maybe fire trucks, things like that. Yep. Download those as well. That's that's a valuable tool. That I would bet you 80% of our customers don't take advantage of. Right. And that only starts when you type in the code. So whether right. you, right. you first get it or six months down the road. Exactly, exactly right. So it doesn't start the day that you get it. It starts the day that you activate it. Now, we've been answering some questions on chat as well. And one came up that I, uh, um, that I think is important. And I can't see it anymore. I just closed it. Wow. Oh, it is what uncomfortable is the, silence. Can, you, can you store? I hear it. Is. It's can you store designs on the uh, on the machine itself? You forgot that question. Yes, that's right. Can you store designs? It, so is the machine's memory better than your memory? Yes, is that's, your, that's, that's a good yes. question. Yes, the machine itself. Um, if, again, if you haven't done embroidery, embroidery machines are dumb. And what do I mean by that? 
you don't drive them, right? They're very much so like marketing guides. You give them stuff for them to remember, and if you don't tell them to remember it, they will forget it. Um, but no, you you have you load the designs into the machine, then you pull them up for memory. The Avante has a 200 design, up to 2 million stitch uh, memory, and you can save the designs. The cool thing about it compared to starting to do some comparison to some other machines, uh, when you save the designs, it saves your sew sequence. Because again, embroidery machines are dumb, so our embroidery machine files. The files we bring in, they, they have a sew sequence to them, have color changes. They don't know what a color is. They just know that this is when they're going to move to another color, right? So when you load a design in, you're going to set it up, and you're going to tell it color number one, needle number four, which is ye you know, yellow. Then maybe it's on needle seven for black. And you're going to put that in, that show sequence. Well, you'll find as you start to get into to doing this, you're going to have a core number of colors that are going to be your cores that you always use. Those would be this black and white, obviously. But then any of the other colors that are your regular cuts. If you have customers that use green and orange, then right. you're going to have green and orange. Be and they're, they're likely going to be one of those 15 colors that comes preloaded off right. the machine. So you're going, to, you're going to put those generally towards the middle of your thread colors. And then the outsides you'll often use for your swing colors, the ones that you're going to change out frequently. Some people will have like 12 that they use as their cores, and they just use one, two, three for their, uh, their change out colors. But if you're not changing those colors around frequently, when you pull up that design for you know, Harry's you know, feed store, you know that Harry's feed store, you always have those colors on the machine in the same places, you can you don't even have to worry about checking so sequence. And because you have such a big memory on the machine, you can actually store all of your customers' logos pretty much right in the machine. If you get repeat orders, you, so you things, just pull it up. When you do things like name drops or just you know real simple, what you do is you just afterwards it's very simple to go into the machine, and delete the, jo the jobs off of there. Yeah. You just keep your core jobs on the machine all the time. Now I have had a couple customers ask me that they loaded the job on the machine. Mm -hmm but they can't find anywhere else in the software, or they lost it. The Avanci will allow you to write the design from the machine back to a USB Oh, stick that's great. So that you've got your in the In the DST format. Awesome. DST format. That is pretty cool because, uh, you know, again, another differentiator. Uh, in the past, if you've been around us, you probably know we've sold the SWF brand at one point. Yeah. The SWF brand, you could do the same thing, but it would not write it back in DST. It would write it back in their native language, which meant you could reload it into a, one of their machines, but yep. you could never take it to another machine. So, like, if you had a, that job and you, and all of a sudden somebody comes to you and they said, I need, like, a thousand caps, and you go, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to die here, right? <laughs> right. You know, I'm going to be like, yeah, I, I will never get it done. So you, you're farming it out to somebody who's got multiple heads and whatnot because you haven't bought your multi-head yet, and all of a sudden you go, I can't, where's the design? Uh -huh. I've lost it. With this, you can just throw it onto a thumb back and yeah. take it right back to it. That's you had an deal. SWF, exactly. you'd have to find somebody who had an SWF multi-head in right the word for you, right? Okay. Cool. So, before we move on a little bit further, any questions on the specifics of the machine itself? The hardware that you get, the software, the, the, the supplies? I've got a question about warranty. Warranty on a machine, it's, a, it's, a, it's pretty much a standard for the commercial marketplace. It's a, it's a five-year five warranty, which is two years parts and labor, five years major components. Uh, Major components is a nice way of saying stuff that very rarely just, breaks. Just like but if car. it does, it really, 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 yeah, it's, it's a drivetrain like warranty. Right. It's the best way to describe it. It's the stuff that you can't see from here. Mm -hmm. It's everything that's on the inside. If it were to fail, you would be in trouble, right? That's covered for five years, all right? Ah, good question. Uh, all commercial embroidery machine the, software the, the, is PC-based. Right. The question oh. is that we always get, too, is... Is the embroidery compatible with Macintosh or right. PC? And yeah. it's just all, there have been a couple over the years. Sean and I, between us, probably have 45, 50 years in the industry. There have been a few Mac products out there, yes, there but they've never really gotten traction. No. Never have. So they're, everything's PC-based. Um, if you're designing like Illustrator on your P Mac, and you want to bring that EPS file in to the digitizing software, you absolutely can do that. Yes. But the, the actual digitizing software is PC-based. And then what it does, it generates a design file, and it generates a, and we'll get into this in a moment here when we get the software up, and it generates a stitch file. All right. So you save the design file so you can go back and make edits. Right. The stitch file kind of becomes gospel. <laughs> yeah. This is the thing that you can do. You, pre, you can do stitch level editing, but it, it is fixed size, fixed number of stitches and whatnot. So this is another thing that's not different about the Avance is that you know, it's the same for every manufacturer of embroidery machines. They all use digitizing software. It's all PC-based. So, I mean, the reality check comes in 
when we start to talk about the competition is in a lot of cases it's not so much about the hardware. Right. Right. Um, there are a lot of good machines out there. Tajima, Baradin, us, CSK, yeah. Right. Uh, back in the day there was Toyota. You know, SWF, back when they were very solvent, they were a very viable machine. Great machines. The difference is, is I think that we are going to bring to the table is the support that we provide to you. The fact that we understand this marketplace better than just about any of our competitors. And what I mean by that is it's not just embroidery. One of the gentlemen I was talking to earlier, he has a direct garment printer from us, right? That he added to his screen printing business right. that he is now looking at an embroidery machine, yeah. right? We're about being apparel decorators nowadays. And Coldesi, when I started here in 2004, we sold embroidery machines. We had our toes stuck in the, a little bit into screen printing. I think we maybe sold five or six screen printing setups a year. Yeah. Right. Within a year, we added direct to garment, and within about three years, we added rhinestone. And about four years later, we added spangle. All right. Why? Because the market complexion was changing. It wasn't just people who people very seldom define themselves as screen printers or embroiderers or whatever right. these days. They're apparel decorators. And then the reality check is it's even bigger than a lot of you all may even see because I have people who own trophy stores. Sign shops. Sign shops. All these types of operations. You know, you have people who own sporting goods stores who are bringing these type of things in. Yeah. I have people who have businesses that they, they deal with restaurants, right? They may sell restaurant supplies, and they're starting to do decoration for stuff of those for, the, for those people but, as but well. That, that's also why we sell so many um, of the Avance machines coupled with a cutter from Coleman & Company right. exactly. or coupled with a CAMS rhinestone machine because they're doing mixed media or they're, they're addressing two different markets. Right. Yeah. And yeah. we can talk to you about that. Right. You know, we can have that conversation with you, which, which the others it's, can. And it's nice being able to interface. With, it's, let's put it this way. Our model should be your model. Right. You would rather deal with me on all your stuff because it's easy. All right. And there's some trust there. there there's, there's trust there that you know that we took care of you well on your embroidery. So you, you're going to be calling the same people, you're going to be ordering supplies from the same place, getting the same support that you get on embroidery with your DTG or with your, your Spangle or your Rhinestone machine, all right? Or the, the cutter you get from Coleman and Company. You know, we're all big, one big family in the same building here. So our model should be the same for your customer. Your customer doesn't want to shop for an embroiderer and shop for somebody who can do their printing for them and shop for somebody to do, you know, their vinyl signage or right. short run or for, for uh, umbrellas or whatever, right? So that, I think, is one of the real differentiators from us. There are a couple companies in the industry that kind of dabble in some different areas, but no one is as thorough as we are across the board in all the different decoration methods. We've got a question about trade-in. Okay. We do. Yes. We do trade-in. Thank that's, you. Uh, as a matter of fact, that's, that's one thing that, that we do do completely differently than everybody else in the industry. Correct. We actually offer a two-year, 100% trade-up from a single head to a multi-head. So if you start out with this, and it's a, it's a common question we get, you know, especially for people who are already in the industry, who are adding this, well, I don't know how much I'm going to get, you know, and I don't really know how to embroider. Great. Don't, don't kill yourself. Start off with a single head. Basically, you're risking the, soft, the, the cost of the shipping. Yes. Get yourself a single head, get comfortable with it, make sure you're, you're good at it, it's something you like, it's something that is viable. And you have two years to call me up and say, hey, done. I want to, uh, I want to go up to a four head or a six head. Mm -hmm. Great. Boom. We're going to give you basically 100% of what you paid for it, less the supplies, obviously, yeah. and software towards the machine for two full years. That, that's comfort, right? It, it, and if you, you, you're just chomping a bit knowing you're going to crush it and you're going to, you're going to need a, a four head in six months, eight months, Think of the single head as your down payment on, on your yeah, that's, machine. That's, yeah, that's a great way to look yeah, at it. The other thing is when you get the embroidery machine, all of a sudden, six months down the road, you're like, I need, to, I need to do the mixed media, I need a CAMS machine. Yep. The good thing about it is the software you get with the Avance. Right, good runs point. the exact yeah. same software for yeah. both the, the CAMS. The Spangle, the Rhinestone, Spangle, and the CAMS. And the I mean, I'm sorry. Yeah, and even the cutter. And the yeah, cutter, cutter, right? So and the Avance, all the same core design engine. Very, very awesome. We're, not, we're here to make it easy for you to, right. to grow your business. But okay. let, let's address some of the things that, that the, the competition does say and they stress about their machines that we typically don't stress about ours, and that's the ability to do small fonts. 
we, yeah, the strengths, you know, we're going to start comparing, um, you know, what machines can do, what well, machines can do. Here's something that Baradin in particular has a great reputation yep, for doing do. small fonts. They do, and at the price they are, it should actually show them for you and call you. <laughs> yes, what it's you done. Okay. Yeah. This would be some small fonts. These are four millimeter, four millimeter style fonts, and yeah. different style fonts sewn out on the Avance. That looks great. Yep. And, and just to let you know, those fonts were done with a CD purchased from Coleman and Yeah, called tiny fonts, right? Called micro fonts. fonts. Micro fonts. And there are ten micro fonts on a CD that are for three millimeter, four millimeter size fonts. Right. That the Avance will sew, as well as they've got a CD for puff. <laughs> right. Yeah. So, that's a whole puff. Puff. so yeah, the yeah. question is, well, yes, it does 3D. <laughs> Secondarily, another another big area I think for us that we kind of pride ourselves on is that. The algorithms, which is a cool word, I love that word. Um, the algorithms used for large fill routines. Uh, for some reason, and I'm not a, a genius on this, the Avante has the best fill routines that I've seen on large fill patterns. You, you know, Sean's done a couple of designs that are near, nearing a quarter million stitches. You know, when we were used to do trade shows, we used to like the machine, let the machine run for hours and hours and hours, right? Yeah. And the only way to do that was to have a really big file. Right. right, and Sean's going to actually grab an example. Well, so you're going to grab the one from well, while, while he does while he does this, there there's another thing that one of the competitors bring up all the time, and that's Melco. They they advertise their networkability as right. a big feature. Well, I mean, the, there's a difference in the way that that Melco networks and what we do. Mel, Melco networks because they have to. The Melco machine has no brain, right? Uh, and that means that it needs a PC to drive it continually. That means that PC remains has to remain healthy. It has to be on in order for you to be able to do. You do not want to get your email or on Facebook your while you're embroidering. Your control panel, right, is on the computer. Is a computer, right? With with the Avance, it's networkable in the sense that you you upload your designs. You can network multiple of these together to upload your designs simultaneously to multiple machines. That's absolutely. It has an Ethernet connection on it. Yeah. Boom. You can send your designs out at one time. Go to each machine, set the sew sequence, and go. Yeah. All right. Um, so I mean that's something we hear a lot, and it's something that we run into. Very few people who are in the embroidery industry actually do that. Well, no, very few of them have Amayas unless they started with a Melco. Yeah. Unless they started with a Melco, they don't have Melcos, the, the newer Melcos, the Amayas, not the old EMTs, because it's not the way the industry works, right? It's just not. If you remember that commercial, it's not. That's not how this works. That's not how any of this works, you know, with the lady with the wall with her friends, she's taking them home. It's yeah, not the way the industry no. works. Here's one of those big designs. If you'll notice, the, the thing, I'm trying not to reflect Mark. Ah! Uh, <laughs> but if you'll see, that is all stitches. That is something that we very rare for you to see yeah. on almost every major Japanese machine. Yes. Their algorithms, that, like loops are like something that just, it's like they 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 loop, looping, it's like a, a rule. And this is just a really nice design. While we have a question, Gracie wants to know if we if it has a wireless connection. No, it does not. It is, Gracie, it's something that is a great question. Thank you. Because we, we have to remember that not everybody has been around us. Embroidery, this is a standalone machine. You still have to go to the machine, set your sew sequence, because you have to know where your threads are. We sell almost 500 colors of threads at Coleman & Company. Yeah. Right? So you don't know exactly what ones are on here. You got to go to the machine and touch it anyway to make sure where your threads are, set your sew sequence. So while you could probably set up a wireless interface, it would not be meaningful because you still have to physically go to the machine to right. check where your threads are. Well, and and we do we do run into this when we do the more of the consumer versus commercial. Right. Consu the high end consumer machines. I saw a twelve thousand dollar Viking machine in a Joann's Fabrics, by the way. Right. Um, they basically have an have an iPad bolted to the side of this machine. And we'll, we don't do stuff like that. We don't, you know, commercial machines don't do wireless um, because it's a point of failure. Right. And if you're in a production environment, you don't want a touchpad that has a certain number of right. touches on it. If you were going to be doing and setting this up in a large commercial environment where you had multiple single head users, you would want one person controlling it and we, you would want it to run wired. Yeah. You would just simply just put them all on the network and give them their own IP addresses and have that person sending the designs to each location. Yep. All right, so that's it, while it sounds cool, yeah, it would be it would save you in the course of a year about about a, a minute and a half comparatively because you still got to walk over the machine 
and set your yeah, stress and that's sequence. and that's across and the board. Machine and feed it. Yeah, that's across the board. That's not just us. Right, that's across the board. Right. Um, I was going somewhere, and then Mark just kind of went. It's off true. And it's true. I answer questions. Wow. I like to answer questions. Amazing. Yes. No, you like to give me questions. Yes. And for you to answer. answer. You're trying to figure so out what you're thinking. Which so is we, we talked about small font. We talked about the, the memory. Hey, we talked about the the warranty. We talked about the trade up value. We talked about what comes with the machine, which is a lot of stuff. Um, we haven't touched on training. Training. Yeah. We offer. You know that that's again. Now we start to cross over into that intangible side. The, the stuff you can't touch and feel. What differences do we bring to the table? Moving away from Avance and moving to Coldesi, right? What does Coldesi bring to the table that our competition doesn't? Number one, we have a larger support and service staff than we do a sales staff. I don't know of a lot of companies that have more than four people that can say that, right? And we have more than four people. I, I don't know where our numbers are at now, but I believe our, our, we're probably pushing around 50 employees here that are part of the, the Coldesi family. All right. Uh, so you've got people, when I say support and service, that's guys like Sean who are answering support calls, who are doing tech talk webinars uh, and, and, and prepping machines. We have guys who most of what they do is repair machines or, or prep machines. But they step up when we get a higher volume of support calls. They'll step in and they'll take support calls that we kind of pick for them that fits their, 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 their power yep. curve, right? Um, so that's a huge part, larger support department than sales department, right? Um, when you when you deal with Coleman and Company, our supply company, you get an account rep. Yeah, it's unheard of, right? right? You know, so when when you have questions or concerns, they can actually get you the answers. It's not just we do have click to chat. Don't get me wrong. If you're a chat person, you can chat with us online. However, sometimes it's just a comfort, right? Thing, or even better, when you're driving somewhere and you know, hey, my wife told me to get more of that pinkish thread we ordered last week. <laughs> Right, I, I I think it was called hog, right, pink, right, or something like that. Porky, porky pink, porky right, pink. and you can't figure out what it because it's one of those colors that's made by women. It's not pink. Stop it, right? Um, <laughs> so what do you do? You call in and you realize, hey, I was talking to Mark. Mark's my rep. Bang, Mark. Hey, can you pull up my order from last week? I need more of that pinkish. Yeah, stuff. and he'll look at it and say, "Well, I see a four hundred eight nine here. No, that's blue. Here's oh, here's ooh, that's an ugly thing. <laughs> yes, but we'll sell it to you anyway. Right, but you have that side, which is yeah. really cool that you can actually have a live interface for a supply. You know, for yeah, a relatively low company. ticket type of orders, we have that as well, and it's and it really helpful. They understand that the add-ons like how like the patch kit. Make sure you have all the right stuff yes. when you get it. Um, that's something again differentiates us from the other folks, and because they're they're here, even though they're a different part of the building. We interface all the time, and it's critical. When you come into training, you're going to have a little conversation with somebody from Coleman Company. Right. You know, we teach you on in but, the classroom. But that's a that's particularly right. good point. When you come into training, a lot of our, a lot of the other machines on the market come with, you know, maybe in-house training where you can fly to their location right. on the other side of the country and get trained. Um, but what they don't have is this kind of well-developed video training that we offer. Right. Right. We we have a on top of our classroom training. Which, when you buy an Avance, by the way, we offer classroom training here in Tampa every single week, except for like Thanksgiving, Christmas weeks. Right. Four weeks a month, we're having training here on the Avance. So if you're in the southeast and you want to travel to lovely Florida, trust me, y'all are going. What the heck are you thinking right now? Right. But in about three buy months, from it'll be in March, March. <laughs> February. You will you be. Can, you'll be. You can, you. By the way, you can schedule that training anytime you would like. Our sales <laughs> in North Dakota skyrocket. <laughs> in, in the January right. and February. So anyway, you, you can live classroom training here. We do live classroom training in our offices in New Jersey. Uh, typically he does that once a month there on the embroidery machine. So we have five live trainings a month. Plus every two weeks, so some months we have three, sometimes we have two. Every two weeks we have live instructor-led online training. And now what, what does that mean? It's, it's just what it sounds like. It's live. It's led by an instructor. And it's online. You sign up. You go in. You're going to go through a couple of hoops. You got to jump through to make sure that you're breathing, and that your machine you, is out of the box. Your machine is out of the box. You have the thread on the machine. You have something to sew on. Blah 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 blah. And then John will allow you to attend the class. And then you're going to have a about an eight-hour day worth of training that is very structured. It's it's led by powerpoints that John goes through with videos that John plays for you. 
John's there answering your questions during it, and at the end of each session, you do a little test. And then you go back into the live webinar portion where John's actually physically talking to everybody, and he's going through the questions. And it shows you how the class did. That you'll see how you did. Right. You won't see how I did, right? But you'll see how the group did. But, I mean, you're doing all this on your embroidery machine. You're not getting you're trained on a, on a right. well-tuned right. you know, machine in the showroom or anything your, like you that. You want to have your footy jammies on while right. you're doing yeah, it. Yeah, you, you can. can. Right? How many times can a customer go to training? You can go to the training as many times as you need. Now, a little, little uh, caveat here. The third time you attend, we do mock you. All right? <laughs> That's right. Um, but you can also take advantage of that from a business standpoint. So you hire somebody next summer, and you want to learn how to use the embroidery machine? You plug them into training. Right. You can keep an eye on them. They're right there. Right. You don't have to worry about expense account. Plus, they're getting the same training that you got. All right. Or if you get off, you know, I've had people. You know, things happen. If you're a small business person, things happen in your life that that pull you away, and you're not able to 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 kind of stay with the business for a while, and you have to come back to it. Man, plug yourself right back into the training to go. Plus, when you're done with the training, we're going to give you the the resources that we use during the training for a refresher. Basically, the PowerPoint and all the videos that we use during the training will be there. So if it's a, you know, you're sitting at home on a Saturday afternoon, and you're so and you get an error, you can go up and you can look at error codes, boom, 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 or you can go to the website that Mark showed you a little yeah. bit earlier for support. Or I mean, well. I mean, honestly, we support everybody because we've got 700 videos on our right. YouTube channel, and people take advantage. Well, of Well, I mean, and I think let's be real too. When we're talking about supporting customers, uh, we have left up live on our web on our support site. Uh, all of the SWF material we had yeah. for the years we were in SWF so that people can get answers there to it. And, you know, it, the basic questions we're still able to answer. You know, yep, there's some right. limitations on parts and stuff because of the situation for yep. SWF. But our guy, we're still committed to helping folks with that. We still answer questions from people who bought direct garment printers from us 10 years ago. Yep. Speaking of answering questions, we're, we're running up on time here. Okay. And I know that we want to show off the, um, the design software that yep. most people get with the um, with yes. the Avance that no one else really does. So so let's talk about that. Hey, Gracie, good question. How loud is the Avance? I mean, it's screaming away right now. No, it's not actually. Uh, that's a good question. We've already traced the design. We have designs. I'm going to go ahead and let it start sewing. We probably will let you hear it. So, where are we sewing? I have no clue. Oh, great. Is it ready? <laughs> so, I mean, so right, we're the word Avance. We're doing the word Avance right here. We're sewing that. I turned the light off. So and, uh, yeah. It's a light button, your LED button. Yeah. Maybe we weren't ready to hit the button. Maybe we weren't ready to hit the button. It's we have it this room we're in is twelve by twelve. Twelve maybe? by twelve. Yeah, like a twelve by twelve room. Slightly soundproof so it contains yeah, all the noise. Yeah, we have as you can see here on the wall, we have uh Sound panels. Sound panels in my favorite colors, garnet and gold. To, to Florida cut, State. cut down the uh, echo. To help knock it down. But if you put this in a, you know, like a spare bedroom or something, put a piece of carpet under it. That will help to cut down the vibration. Yeah, people use it in retail locations. So, I mean, you can hear right now, we're sewing at 800 stitches per minute, 750 stitches per minute. And uh, I'm not talking any louder than I was. Nope. Right? Can, can you hear that okay? Right here. My microphone is right here. That should give you an idea of how loud it is. Yeah, wonderful. I like that. Thank you very much. Okay. Now let us move over to, uh, to having Sa Sean do a dog and pony show on the, um, on the software. All we right. can do that? Yep. yep. I'm gonna go ahead this is, uh, you know, and I'll, I'll go ahead and uh, Sean's getting everything. Uh, you want to change over. I'll, I'll kind of describe what you get. Uh, most people choose to go with our full-blown digitizing software, which is uh, Stitch Era Liberty, which is what Sean's going to be showing you. Uh, the default package that comes is Stitch Era Universal, which is a very watered-down version, basically a, a lettering software with minor digitizing capabilities. If you already have digitizing software, you can just opt for that and save yourself some money. Yep. Um, but it's not a huge add-on. We've discounted a bit when you buy it along with the machine. But this is Stitch Era Liberty, and like I said, a lot of the functionality is the same. Sean just wouldn't have more uh, bullets in his gun than you would if you had the Universal. There's a lot more tools to it. Yes, definitely. Now Sean just trying to figure, we just updated the software onto this machine, and Sean trying to find it. There they are. Look at my designs. All right. These are some, what are these, JPEGs? These are the JPEGs. These are the JPEGs. Uh, we will go to the vector images as well. Good question. <laughs> we 
do have a question here. I'll get to that at the end, Mark. Thanks for asking. Some vector images that we have for the software. I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to open up um, the elephant. We had an we had an online. Question. Oh, look at that. I got no mic. Oh, How do I do? We give him mic. Give me the mic, Sean. All right. So if you couldn't hear me, now here I am. This is a vector image. Um, basically, vector image is a nice, clean, uh, crisp image. Uh, this is usually the best way to digitize. I, you know, will grab an image off of uh, Google Images and digitize from that. Uh, the nice feature about the software is we can select the image. We can come up to embroidery. We can choose our Art to Stitch, uh, Art to Stitch Intelligent, and it will look at the design and the colors and convert it for us automatically. Turn off our vectors, and our design is done. Matter of minutes, or matter of seconds, I should say, you were able to open up an image, uh, select it, and convert it to stitches. Down below, you can see it's going to do uh, green, black, and then yellow. We have 3,069 stitches with two colors. Well, you can see it's really small. It's only 1.79 by 1.76. Customer wants it 3.5. We can then select it. Turn our vector, make sure we select everything. And we'll come up here and we will make it 3.5 inches. Turn our vector off. Zoom in. We now so now we have 8245 stitches. So we will increase the stitch count uh, for you automatically. Customer then says, okay, this is for the uh, Tampa Zoo. We can simply go to our embroidery tab, choose our lettering. You've got digitized and true type fonts. True type fonts are any font that you have on your software from Microsoft Word, Illustrator, Photoshop, or that you can download from any one of the free websites. Uh, we'll go ahead and type in uh, Tampa Zoo. And we'll choose Enter. It's a little large, so we'll come back from 1.25. We'll change to 0 0.85 inches tall. Uh, we want it to be a magenta color. And we want to arc it above our elephant. We'll come over to Image. Choose Upper Arc. Select it. Size it. Move it above it. All right, we'll look at it in kind of a real view. We'll choo uh, choose our little ball downstairs and... That's, we just had a question come in off of uh, the chat line. Yep. They say, what are those ugly lines? All right, those ugly lines are basically the machine's going to show the word Tampa Zoo, but jump between each one, which means you've got to come back later with the scissors and trim it out. Gotcha. Devante has got an automatic trim feature. Right. We select this, come up to our scissors, and tell we want to trim between each letter, and now those stitches are gone. Gotcha. That's, I like, but doesn't that add time to my sew time? It does slow the machine down roughly a few seconds each trim. So if you've got 500 of these shirts to do, and you've got, say, eight trims between each letter, it's going to take up a lot of time. Right. So normally what I would do is I would just select it, but I would trim just between each word. Boom. I got yeah. you. That's a lot. You can send a preview of this to a customer, yes? Yes, yeah. you can. We'll go up to View. Uh, we'll go to Simulation. I'll go ahead and increase the size of the window so we can see it. And up here, we going to send as a JPEG to a customer to get their approval, or we can actually print it out if the customer's in-house to physically see it. Nice. So you can actually send it to a customer. If I'm not mistaken, you can actually drop in backgrounds too, right? This is correct. So like you have like denim or something like that, you could set, you could drop it in so you can see what it looks like. Come in here, and you just choose the fabric. Right. Boom. And you can and choose, those, because tartan is so popular don't, these don't days. Don't choose any of the plaids. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nice. Let's choose, say, an orange. That looks like the shorts that Mark had on it. Hey. Last picnic. So there is going on an orange blanket for a kid. They say, well, I don't like the elephant being green. I want it to be a gray color. You simply just go to the RGB color. You select green. And we'll change it over here to a gray. Apply it, and now our elephant is gray. Man, that's except awesome. For, except for the end of so it. So it, it doesn't matter what colors on screen as well. You can modify it to fit there the customer's uh, uh, actual logo. And then when you send it to the border machine, you're selecting what colors you want to sew with. Okay, and that, that's a that's a, sh a small example of the power of the software. This is correct. We did. It looked like we had a question pop up there. You want to? Oh yeah. Let's let's. Um, Yes, I think we have to preview that preview mode. Uh, All right. Yes, I do recommend yes. Paul to do a single Good sew out. Question, You're always going to do a sample sew out just to make sure you got the thread colors right, the densities right, and the fabric with the backing. And usually what I tell customers is once they get that final sew out and it looks good, cut it out, save it in a portfolio. 
Customers walk in and want to see what you do. You can show them the book. Gives them a better feel, visual, yeah. than just telling them, hey, I can do a left chest logo. So there's a question. Are, are all stitches the same or can it be changed as an assumption? Absolutely. It can be. Basically, what you have is you have Welcome jump back. stitches, running stitches, right? You have pattern stitches, which is what the elephant is patterned in. And there are what? How many of those in the coming to uh, I think uh, 60, 60 plus. 60 plus patterns that you can choose. So and then you, here. then you have uh, column stitches or satin stitches which is what you would think about when you think about all. traditional lettering. Mm -hmm. As you'll see on here, you see all these different patterns, okay? And yeah, I mean, some of them are patterns, some of them are patterns with satins on top of them. Some of these down here in the bottom, the green ones, those are patterns with stitches on, on them. And you can actually, look at that. It, it, the ones you saw in there that had locks on them, you can purchase yeah. those as well, yep. all right? So, and you can angle that, you can put wave pattern to it. There's so much you can do. All of that comes in that, that digitized. Like I said, it is a very powerful package. Uh, I've been here for 12 years, and this package, really the, the package, <laughs> the package that we sell here for under a thousand dollars, yeah, does more than our $4,500 software did when I started here in 2004. So I mean, that would be the software that comes with it. Um, where does it differentiate? I think the big differentiator, again, when you, you start to look at us in the competition to Jima Barrett and companies like that, is this core engine that you just saw that you saw Sean working with, right? This software will, with with a just a, an add-on drop-down, you'll see up here it says hot fix, all right? We have the full-blown version added. That is an add-on you can get if you decide to do brush and bake with your vinyl cutter yeah. to do rhinestone patterns. If you have a cams machine, right? If you have one of our spangle machines, bang, you yes. can use that as well. And, and using the same software so you have the same look and feel, and it'll actually allow you to even do simulation showing both. Right, so and, and embroidery. If you are doing, uh, it has an in ear for the. If you do have the hotfix section, it actually has pre-digitized stone fonts as well. Yep. As opposed to our stoned operator who is using it right now. Okay. <laughs> um, when we go back to the uh, camera, I don't think there's any more questions there about the software. And uh, while while Sean was was uh, showing you the software, we finished up the Avance that was shown. As you can see, that came out. Really nice. And by the way, that was running the whole time. I think one of the people right. asked about the, the volume of the machine. He was able to do a demonstration, and you know, it was it wasn't perfectly quiet in here, but it's it was pretty quiet. Let's be real. I know a lot of you folks. A lot of you folks work at home, and your stay-at-home moms. I've heard your kids in the background. You will <laughs> not hear the embroidery machine over your children. Okay. Okay. So, a uh, great question. Do you have customers running the Avance machines for long periods of times, like yeah. eight to ten hours a day? We do. You know, multiple so sets of Avance. Yeah, we have, we have people. We have people. Uh, I've got a customer actually that um, was an old SWF customer, had a, a single head and a six head from us, and he sold off a single head and a six head and bought a six head and a four head. I think Sean, you actually trained him. Mm -hmm. Customer of ours in Mississippi. And uh, he runs the stew out of his. Yeah. Uh, so, yes, that's what they're designed to do. They're commercial machines. Uh, understand when you have a commercial machine, you do commercial maintenance. What does that mean is that every four hours of operation, you're oiling the hooks. When you've got a forehead, that means you're oiling four hooks, right? And, you know, when you start to run a 12-hour day, you're now running a day and a half. So you're going to more frequently pick up your yeah. daily maintenance is going to be done at eight hours. As opposed, the embroidery machine maintenance is more about hours than it yeah. is yep. days. And, and speaking of that, real quick, Don, uh, you see that design right there? It has 2496 stitches. It also has a timer on the machine that allows us to know it took three minutes and 58 seconds to sew that one design. So if you've got 500 to do, you'll right, know how long it's going to take. We did, and we actually we had a thread pull out right at the beginning. Yeah. So um, you literally you probably knock off 30 seconds off of that. So it gives you an idea of where you go. Embroidery is about time, right? And so you need to make sure you're billing for time. Yep. Uh, you need to, to make sure you, you're getting a machine that's got two of everything. You need to make sure that you're ready with two of everything mm -hmm. so that you can get that machine. I mean, we, we would have done this in a production environment. I would have very quickly had another one set, popped it in, hit the and start button. Go. Then I would have worried about unhooping this one, worried about cutting the backing off of it, worried about getting another one on. So, so when you, and we'll, we'll kind of summarize here because we're, um, we're right here. So my ask, it, it, we change back from the computer screen. Yeah, you uh, you you probably need to click on the little butterfly. I mean, or hit so play, or hit escape. Hit escape. It's back there. It, it, we're there. We're just behind the other screen. So so in summary, when you when you get an Avance as opposed to when you get um, one of the competitors' machines, 
Um, you get the live online training. Mm -hmm. You get access to the to the weekly or biweekly tech talks right. to address specific issues. You get unlimited live online training. You can right. come train here, here in house. You, you get, get the two hat year the third time you do it too. <laughs> special hat. <laughs> you get the uh, the two year one hundred percent trade up. Yep. That's to huge, a multi guys. that's a big deal. That's a huge. Yeah. That's huge. You know, you don't know where your business is going to go. And, and it's, it very rarely does people somebody just hey, I'm going to trade in my single head and get a four head. What they'll do is they'll come back by a second single head, and now they reset the clock. Yeah. And then they'll end up with a six head and a single head, or four head and a single head. Which is uh, the only customer had a single right. head, traded the single head on a multi head, but bought another single head right. to right. do his samples in his onesie twosies. There you right. go. And there you, you, go. you also get the, the 4200 um, clip art designs. Clip art, yes. You get the backings, the needles, 15 5,000 meter cones of thread that come on it. Um, 5,000 meters what else? like three miles, guys. Yeah, what else? And, and the, two, would, the, two, the biggest sewing field in, in the industry, really. And right. the big thing I would all say would be the support you get with Paul yeah. Bessie. Yeah. Of course you would say that because you're in support. Yeah, really. Yeah, I, I think know. that having an account manager who is personable and knows the industry is very important. But, I mean, <laughs> yeah. joking aside, when you call into this building, the average person in this building has 10 years' experience in the industry. That doesn't mean all of them, but the average. 10 years' experience in the industry. You have some folks in our support department that have 25 plus. Uh, I personally have 25 plus. Uh, I know a couple of our account managers have, you know, that long or longer. Uh, one of our account reps is over 30 years in the industry. That's, that should be comforting because you're dealing with people who know the industry and have had all aspects. We're not just here to answer the what size is it, how fast does it go type of question. Where do I source this? Hey, I'm thinking about doing this. Do you think this makes sense? No, the way you want to do it is this way. I mean, I've talked to customers out of buying something they fell in love with and help them find what they needed, yeah. right? And that, that's a, a benefit you have when you're dealing with us. Very, very low turnover here in our, in our yeah. sales, the people you're interfacing with. That, that all that stuff adds up. Yeah. So uh, good question. And what I'll do is I'm going to get some retail pricing on here. We'll, you know, your account manager will give you the sales pricing because this, uh, these videos become eternal. And, yeah. <laughs> and so, you know, we don't want somebody in... 2013 you know, 29 called what you said right. the Avance. But, that, but, that, but the price on the website is 11995 11 for the Avance 1501C and you can lease About it 29000 for the for the forehead uh, we're running some pretty aggressive specials uh, right now on the single head and the multis the multis are a really good deal um, right now that we're running with supplies and stuff included so get with your account manager but that gives you a ballpark yeah. You know, you're looking typically the average the average Avante sale out the door with all the stuff you need is going to run you around twelve. Yeah, that's about norm. And you might want the cutter, you might want the patch kit. We we run um, whatever you, you buy. When it goes on, then yeah. you start sell. You know, you add on like the cutter setup. You say five hundred bucks. Yeah, right there by bundling them together. So. But the good news is, whatever you buy, you get popcorn. Yeah. So at no extra charge. However, right, when guys. you show it <laughs> in a webinar, you don't you don't get popcorn. Get popcorn. <laughs> All right, guys, thanks very much for your time hey, you today. Thanks for coming by. If you have a question, just uh, send us an email. Take care.